I'm extremely hesitant with no self-confidence. Cannot succeed with anything lately. I completely lost my way and fall for my nephs too. I cannot do anything right. How can I fix this? What is your advice? I need your support and du'as, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim If you have a shaykh, follow your shaykh. Listen carefully to what he has to say. Don't make any excuses and follow. If you're following our way, listen to Sheikh Ali properly. When the advice it is given, listen to it carefully. Don't make any excuses. Everything that we are doing, you are talking about being hesitant. You're talking about failing in everything. But there's nowhere in there that you're saying it is for the sake of Allah. It's just there for yourself. Start doing things for the sake of Allah first. Be strong with that. Be sincere with that. Then your dunya is going to open too. You lost your way. Find a guide. The guide is going to help you. You lost your way, you found a guide, you don't want to follow that guide, you'll still be lost. You found a guide, one day you like him, next day you don't like him, you will be lost. You cannot do anything, hold on to that guide and listen, step by step. Don't be impatient. You are sick, you have to follow the doctor, step by step. He gives you something that is going to be bitter, you have to take it. It's going to cure you. We are all lost. That's why we are holding on to our Shaykh, to the Holy Prophet If we hold on with his support and do us, it will help. If we don't hold on, they support and they pray for us. It's not going to work so much. Because we are not holding on. Because we are not opening. We're closing. Don't you know in Islam it is forbidden to enter into any room without asking permission? What about your heart? You think you can just enter into your heart if there's no permission? The heart has to open. The heart belongs to you. You have to open it. If you close it and you say, please, dua, please this, but you close your heart, nothing is going to happen. It didn't work with Abu Jahil. It didn't work with Abu Lahab. They are the uncles of the Holy Prophet that they loved him. They loved him. And he loved them. But when the Holy Prophet declared prophethood and their ego cannot take it, that's the time that they started hating him. And the Prophet never gave up on them. But they did not open the door of their heart. All that family ties did not work. The son of Nuh salam, his father, the second Adam, loved his son so much. His son didn't believe in the father. The rain was coming down. Father was in the ship. The son was going up to higher ground. The father was saying, come my son into safety, into the ark. And the son said, what are you talking about? This is going to stop. I'm just going to find some dry land and it's going to be okay. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if you call your son one more time, I will strip prophethood from you. He is your son, he is my creature. And everyone there, you are all my creatures. So when your door of your heart is closed, it doesn't matter if you're son of a prophet or the wife of a prophet. It's not going to work so much. This is lesson for us. We are not saying we are better. This is lesson for us, inshallah. Stay with your guide. Well, every time you are stepping on your ego, every time you're being patient, every time you're trying to understand and working against your anger, opening your heart. You're opening your heart. Your heart is opening more and more. You don't feel like it. You don't like it. You're stepping on it. The heart is opening. 
there's a time you can understand. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This much is enough, inshallah. I'll see you later.